Hi guys, and assalamu alaikum to the Muslims. I'm back again. Um, I just want to start off this video by apologizing. I'm really sorry for laughing in my last video when I explained to you that trees are double agents between genies and us. You know, that God assigned trees to inform us of actions of genies. As I've said before, if it's in the Quran, in the Hadith, or in the Hadith, it's the truth. So, I really want to apologize. What it was is, Shaitan put something in my heart that disallowed me to get the message across without laughing. You know, it's, it's his way of stopping the message of the truth. But I'm going to make sure that he doesn't do that this time. In this Dawa video, I want to talk to you about something else in Islam. Slavery. Yes, that's right, slavery. Now I know many of you may be thinking, oh, slavery? That's immoral, wah, 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 and evil and vile, but you're getting it all wrong. Muhammad, peace be upon him, himself loved slavery so much that he even made it illegal to tax them. That's right, slaves were tax-exempt property in Islam. Slavery in Islam is in fact a wonderful practice that is sanctioned by God. I mean, just in the United States, some human beings were considered to be property and forced to do work for their masters for no pay. But what's wrong with that? I mean, I don't see anything immoral about that, do you? I mean, if you're a slave, working for free, it's your best option, seems to me. Now, women slaves have a special place in Islam. Now, our God, Allah, who is all just, wanted to make sure that the sexual needs of the woman were met. This is why he made it permissible for us, meaning Muslim men, to have sex with our female slaves, even if they were previously married. This is stated by Surah 442 and confirmed by many hadiths. Now I know many of you may be saying that this is rape, but just listen. I mean, they were captives of war. Look, when my brothers and sisters uh, would go into a new land and conquer it, you know, there were women and children that needed someone to take care of them since, you know, we killed all their husbands. And so we wanted to do the godly thing and offer them food and shelter in exchange for getting our rocks off whenever we please without having to get into all the legal mess of marriage. I mean, sounds like a good deal to me. And they don't even need to uh, enter into a contract. I mean, Allah informed us that we, I mean, they are allowed to have sex with us without any sort of contract or legal protections. And another reason we use slaves is because they, like all property, can be used as bargaining chips. I mean, there are several verses in the Quran that state that freeing a slave, along with the, some other things, is sufficient atonement for certain sins, such as murder. So, you kill someone, then you free a slave. So, that's better than killing a slave for your sins, at least, right? Now, many of you may be thinking, how could a black person be endorsing slavery? I mean, isn't that kind of hypocritical? And yes, I mean, many of the slaves of the Arabs were black Africans and it could be attributed that the Europeans got the idea for the Atlantic slave trade from the Muslims which in turn led to the deaths of 17 million people which is roughly three times the amount of people that were killed in the Holocaust but let's forget all that first but let's face it Allah says it's okay so if he says it's okay that's all the proof I need Furthermore, slavery is perfectly applicable today. I mean, blacks along with other ethnic minorities in this country have some of the highest unemployment rates. So, 
why don't we reintroduce slavery as a solution to unemployment? See, Islam does make sense. Thank you.